Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Carol here from Oak House Journals and I'm really, really excited now to do this video. I finally got round to doing my 1000 subscriber giveaway. Um, huge apologies for the delay that um, it's taken for me to get this done. Um, first off, I didn't believe in a million years that I would ever get to uh, a thousand subscribers when I joined YouTube in October. Um, so I was caught a bit on the hop. And even though I could see my subscriber numbers increasing um, as the months went on, I don't think it really registered with me. So apologies for, for that. Um, and the other thing was, um, it took me a little bit of time to pull it together once I'd made uh, up my mind what I was going to do for my subscriber giveaway. And I'll explain that in a moment or two. First off, can I say a massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you that has supported me and watched my videos um, and left your comments and encouragement um, over the last months um, you have been absolutely amazing and I certainly um, could not have done this in terms of having the courage to do it had it not been for my awesome subscribers um, and the wonderful crafting community that we have here online. So thank you so much for that. Right, here it is. These are the prizes. There's three prizes that I'm going to give away. Um, for my 1000 um, subscriber giveaway. There is this beautiful, beautiful um, journal, which I will do a flip through in just a moment. There is one of these um, folios. Uh, I've recently posted these in my Etsy shop and did a couple of flip through videos of these. Um, and this one is one that I held back on purpose so that I would have have it to be able to give away and the third one is one of these um, tissue collaged envelopes with the antique lace inside okay so this journal will be the first prize this folio will be the second prize and the envelope will be the third prize and I will go through the folio and the journal in a moment. So if you want to participate in the giveaway and win one of these entries, what I would like you to do is first of all be a subscriber to my channel. The second thing is we all love receiving happy mail and gifts and surprises. I know I certainly do. I get like a giddy kipper when something um, comes through the post that I'm not expecting. So the whole um, giveaway is based around a rack. Now, for those of you that don't know what a rack is, a rack is a random act of kindness. So what I would like you to do is, if you want to win one of these entries, is to do a rack for somebody, anybody, your choice, absolutely your choice. So your rack could either be a friendship journal page, it could be a tag, it could be a decorated envelope, and I can point you in the direction of Angela Kerr's channel because she does the most amazing decorated um or projects using envelopes so you could you could do one of those um, or you could do a floating pocket you can do anything you could send some bits and bobs from your stash so what I would like you to do is obviously be a subscriber and to do a rack for somebody so what I would like you to do is in the comments um, down below is leave me a comment telling me what you plan to do as your rack and who you're going to send it to. Now, if you don't want to give the surprise away, then I will put my email address down below and you can send me that information in an email. But if you do that, just let me know in the comments as well that that is what you are going to do. So you can tell me what your rack is and you can tell me who you're sending it to. 
either by leaving me a comment with that information or by sending me an email with that information in it. If you have a YouTube channel, then by all means, go for your life and leave a video of what you're sending um, to somebody. If they have, uh, if the recipient um, has a YouTube channel, then by all means, they can post a, a video of um, what they've received. Certainly, if I receive any, then I will put up a video of any that I receive. But please, this is not about me. This is about sending something to somebody else. Um, and hopefully it will be a lovely surprise and a lovely random act of kindness. So that is what I would like you to do. Um, obviously, because of the um, situation with the coronavirus at the moment, um, it's taking time for postage to get um, through um, internationally um, shipping has been slowed down. I know the mail here in the UK has been slowed down a little bit. So what I thought I would do, I would give you a month to get your act together and make or do whatever you want to do and to get it in the post. Um, so the closing date for this rack, when I will um, pull out the names of all the um, um, participants, will be Wednesday the 1st of July and as I'm saying that I'm frantically hoping that the 1st of July is a Wednesday but the closing date will definitely be the 1st of July and I will um, then draw out three names for these three prizes. Okay so it's not fair of me to ask you to do a rack if I actually don't do one myself. So my rack is this little journal here. And this little journal was bought by me from a lady that I've recently got to know who is called Alison Hutchins. Now, Alison doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she does have um, uh, an Instagram account. And on Instagram, she is known as Oh So Rustic. And if I show you, this is how oh so rustic is so as in sewing with a needle and thread as you can see here but I will put um, this information down in the description box down below now I bought this little journal off Alison I saw something that she had made for Rachel of Roxy Creations and I contacted Alison and we swapped friendship journal pages and I was so impressed by what she created for me that I asked her if she would make me a journal and actually <laughs> she made me several um, but I will go on and tell you about that in a subsequent video but suffice it to say that this is one of the journals that she made it's absolutely gorgeous and this little journal here will be the first prize in the giveaway. So I'm just going to do a flip through of it now. The journal is four and a half inches by six inches or 11 centimetres by 16 centimetres. It's a three hole pamphlet stitch. It's got this absolutely gorgeous, somewhat muted um, paper uh, on the front a fabric square that she's stitched on and then the word journal that's been stamped on some tea or coffee stained paper and again that's been stitched on and everything has been stitched all the way around the outside. As you can see it's a seam binding closure through um, eyelets and I'm just going to move these to one side. There we go. And just look at this, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So there's one of the um, Tim Holtz um, stitched slot pockets, I think these are called, inside in a beautiful botanic, uh, botanical um, book page. Uh, there's a tiny, tiny little envelope that she's made tucked in there with a little piece of 
checkered paper inside and there's some other tiny tiny little pieces of gorgeous ranger ephemera that she's tucked in there let's pop that in there this beautiful image of a primrose there's some stitching down the side here um, stitching on the page obviously and then some fabric that she stitched down the side to make a hinge this is all um, fussy cut and stuck on um, collaged and this flips open whoops a daisy this gorgeous straw paper with some collaging and layering here a little tiny stamped bee in the corner there just exquisite a beautiful bit of layering up here a tiny bird image I'm not sure if that's a swift or a, a house martin then there's some grid paper here beautifully um, tea and coffee stained love this image there's a lot of um, torn edges which is beautiful it gives it a nice organic feel I don't know how um, Alison has done her papers but they are so soft and almost have a, a very very gentle chalky finish to them so I don't know whether she gessos them or not I really must ask her here she's done a window pocket this is a fussy cut image and then this beautiful tag with a fabric tab up there and then that slots in there and then a big card behind absolutely lovely and a fussy cut image there another fabric tab at the top and I love the detail on the back you know me I love having detail on the back of my uh, my tags and journaling cards um, she's done some layering here to make a faux stamp and a fussy cut um, snowdrop there and this is I think this is probably a printable um, but it's absolutely gorgeous look at the collaging on the bottom of this pocket that she stitched round and there's some lace here as well lovely little tag here I love how Alison does her fabric um, tops this looks like a vintage mother of pearl button there's a tea stained or coffee stained doily there beautiful um, rose pattern paper here stitched round a corner tuck spot up here with some looks like some cheesecloth or gauze and some stitched um, paper and this is the journaling card in that pocket or corner tuck rather life of bees so this is a vintage book that she's used and I was actually sat reading this um, earlier on today and it's absolutely fascinating it really is very interesting some vintage paper that she's used here lovely soft texture to all of this some lined paper oh and look at this owl I love look at his little doleful face he's amazing I, I nearly nicked this out of here and um, Alison I really did it was so gorgeous and then beautiful coffee staining on the back lovely papers I think these might be Artie Mays I'm not sure um, and then some beautiful collaging and layering with fabrics and fussy cuts and labels down this side pocket I spy butterflies and moths so that's the cover to a vintage book there some music paper and she's stitched round round that I love all the different layers and all the different collections of papers that Alison's chosen for this little journal beautiful colours and in, in this piece and I love the yellowing across the uh, across the top there look at that isn't that beautiful paper just beautiful so there's lots and lots of interest in this little journal um, but
but there's also lots of space in here for, for writing um, and exquisite pockets and Alison really is masterful at her collaging and choice of tags. Just beautiful. Just these tiny delicate snippets of fabric at the top. And then this is a fold out. Beautiful paper this. You can tell it's vintage just by the feel of it. It's lovely. Then she's done some fabric and lace collaging at the bottom there. Just so many layers there. Absolutely beautiful. This lovely background paper and she's made a pocket. And let me look how she's got a tiny tag on the back and some collaging. And then when you flip it over, it's some Edith Holden paper or an image from an Edith Holden book with these lovely long tags. Aren't they gorgeous? So that goes in this top loading pocket up here. Just going to leave those tags outside so you get a, a little sneak peek. Love this paper, Alison. Absolutely gorgeous. This looks like a printable as well that she's used. Beautiful. And there's a reinforced page here. This is obviously a vintage book page on birds so there's information down the bottom here but just such a lovely vibrant colour and I love how she's married up the yellow underbelly of the uh, blue tit with this beautiful paper here it doesn't quite show as uh, yellow or lemony um, in this light but trust me um, it really is I love how some of the pages you've stitched round them and others that you haven't another printable there of some ledger paper a faux stamp that she's made up in the corner there absolutely beautiful work lovely images here she's used some um, paper for her tag topper and I love that idea I never do it myself but I'm certainly going to be doing it now Alison so thank you for for letting me nick that this is a beautiful image of some lavender that she's printed on some almost like parchment paper um, which is really nice then we have a envelope that she's made out of a botanical page nothing inside this one but absolutely lovely let me just refresh my there we go sorry I needed to refresh my computer screen there so that's a lovely um, handmade envelope beautiful bee images here absolutely gorgeous more of that printed um, decorative tea stained paper and look at the you can see the doily impressions there lovely and then this is obviously a page from our famous um, observer books of plants and I love this idea for the centre of her signature. Absolutely beautiful. So there's more collaging here. With doilies and die cuts. There's a bit of um, fabric tape there that's like a tape measure. And some lace. Little tiny heart just sneaking in the corner there. Beautiful tag here or journaling card and more collaging in that top corner looks like a Tracy Fox um, label there beautiful collaging again and stamping and a vintage button up there and even on the on the tag she's done a little bit of collaging on the front and this looks like straw paper on the back Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It's lovely. And I love this pocket. Collaging down here. Lots of detail. Absolutely beautiful. And then there's a little tiny tag that's trapped behind the glassine envelope or glassine bag. But she's even collaged on that. 
little bit of layering behind it for interest and then this beautiful tag with a Tracy Fox label in the back pocket. Absolutely lovely. Not sure what this plant is, but this is also printed on that lovely parchment paper. It's absolutely gorgeous, rich green colours on that. Then there's a little tiny, very decorative playing card here that she's used as a corner tuck spot. And this lovely specimen of a pressed flower head that Alison has trapped between some acetate and stitched round. Absolutely gorgeous. And the colours are just perfect. Absolutely perfect. And there's a crested lark. Another vintage bird book page. So much interest as you go through this little journal. And I love how she's used the, the back of um, an envelope here to create a tuck spot with this beautiful little journaling card. Let's hold that up. Absolutely lovely. Colours are amazing. And you flip it over. Beautifully stitched round. And then more of that. Um, not quite sure what this is from. Um, it's obviously French. Uh, it's name and addresses of clients and observations. So not sure what that's come from but you can tell it's vintage by the um, the feel of the paper and look at these lovely images in here that she's used this beautiful fussy cutting down here with a little bit of lace and a vintage stamp love your layering Alison really do and this is beautiful you can feel all the layers and the fabrics and that's the back of the, the journaling card in that bottom pocket more collaging here just exquisite really is that flips open like so music page here's the back cover of that uh, I spy book of butterflies and moths I think it was Another corner tag pocket or tuck. Little tiny bee stamped on some um, brown paper. Just tucked in the corner there, just peeking out. Really beautiful. Another side tuck here. And again, it's lovely collaging, fussy cutting and lace. Another tag. Some vintage lace. And tied with some looks like linen twine just beautiful oh I might have to keep this one <laughs> no seriously it's lovely it's absolutely lovely and doily page looks like an Edith Holden image there I think Alison might have gessoed over the pages um, after she coffee or tea stained them I should have asked her first actually before I started doing actually it's not an Edith Holden because looking at the reverse that's not an Edith Holden image and then she's put in a page of beautiful tea stained or coffee stained paper tucked it behind that um, vintage sewing pattern doily image Oh, here's my favourite. I love oaks, so this is a beautiful image of some oaks. Another pocket here with more fussy cutting and labels. And this is the tag that goes in that pocket. Gorgeous piece of green sari silk on there with a little snippet of lace just trapped there. And then this is all layered and fussy cut butterfly. Some Tracy Fox label on the back. And a journaling spot and that goes in that pocket there and then there's a corner tuck here um, sorry not a corner tuck a side pocket 
or tuck spot here with more beautiful collaging on and then in the back cover there is a big card stitched round with some sari silk and beautiful beautiful stained paper on the back or dyed paper on the back so this is Alison's journal um, which I bought from her for my giveaway as my rack to Alison so that little journal will be the first prize and as I say isn't she just absolutely stunning gorgeous gorgeous little journal and please um Alison's details are down below in the description box please go over to Instagram and have a look at her lovely work um, it really is exquisite and um, I understand that she's open to um, taking um, orders from people um, I think she has a reserved list um, or a reserved orders list so please contact her through Instagram um, directly if you're interested in um, buying any of her work but in the meantime you will stand a chance of winning this little journal okay so that's the first prize the second prize is one of these folios and if you've seen my previous two videos you'll know very much what these are like so um, she measures um, 8 inches by 5 or 20 centimetres by 13 um, it's a trifold <laughs> surprise surprise um, it's tied with a length of this beautiful um, ivy ivory sorry sari silk um, she has a lace vintage lace um, doily on the front this is um, 49 and market uh, vintage artistry ledger paper um, that I've used um, there is a piece of um, torn linen on the spine for extra support and interest flipping over to the back there is this corner pocket and this little journal has fallen out but it tucks in there and is held in place with the sari silk closure very quickly just to show you this little booklet stitched all round um, still using the same 49er market um, uh, paper collection three hole pamphlet stitch vintage button um, mother of pearl button on the front there is a, a frame there where I've made it into a little tuck spot and there's just some little ephemera pieces that tuck into that frame one of the ranger found relatives and then this is just a little raggedy torn edged um, notebook so there's little bits of collaging tiny little bits of lace um, this is a vintage um, vocabulary book or dictionary sorry french dictionary um, some music pages, a little tiny um, flip out there with some book pages along the bottom, uh, tiny well tail tabs, uh, a little bit of stamping and collaging and a little bit of lace there. Um, there's a little pocket, um, sorry, a fold out there. There is a tiny, tiny little envelope which if I can get this um, paper clip off there's a little envelope and inside just two tiny little tags like so and they just slot back inside and that just folds over the page and there's one of these little tiny ranger paper clips to hold that in place 
there's a little bit of the Ranger film strip on that page held in place with an eyelet little tag there then there is a stamped piece of um, uh, linen there, dyed, uh, dyed linen with another little tag just stapled in place. Um, the back pocket is a fabric um, pocket with a little tag in. It's a stamped fabric pocket and then just one of these little tiny um, cordless paper clips that I do with um, knotted crochet threads to make a little tassel on it. So that's the little booklet that fits in the back pocket. At the side there is one of these paper clip, um, not paper clips, bulldog clips. Um, this is in a pale green. They, there's a word token which says love and a little number band as well. Going inside we have, if I just open it up a little bit, we have up here, we have this that flips open. There's a number fabric number tab here. This flips open and in this pocket there's one of these botanical book page tags that I make with a vintage cigarette card in it. And that goes in that glassine pocket just there. Up here, tucked into this butterfly, there's one of these Ranger transparencies that I've stitched round. A couple of those little um, playing cards backed with tea stain paper and just a vintage ticket. And they all go up there. Here we have, um, same as I've done on the other ones, the um, vintage uh, lace and book page paper clip and they're just whoops a daisy on a couple of flash cards in this stitched pocket there's more um, ranger ephemera lace at the bottom here and a couple of crocheted flowers in the side pocket there is a little journaling card Very much uh, the same as the previous ones that I've done. There's a frame here with a little tag with some vintage lace on it. That just pops down in there. In this pocket there's uh, an altered slide with a couple of images of ducks on it. There's jigsaw pieces in there. There is one of these raggedy slow stitched um, pieces that I've done with tiny little seed beads up here, little um, miniature whale tails, um, button card. In here there are some frames, some tabs and some little squares. There is a vintage specimen tag here. There is a file folder that's stitched round with some linen, torn linen on the side, a little alphabet dangle there, and some more bits and bobs inside, some more tiny tags and some ephemera pieces. And then down at the bottom here there is a tag with some more of the film strip on it. I love this stuff actually, it's really nice to play with. And that goes in that pocket there. And then here at this end, just three smaller tags. Very plain for you to do whatever you fancy on those. So this one is the second prize. And the third prize, I'm just going to push this all to one side. Let me just pop these bits in so I can just close it too slightly. There we go. I'm sure I'm supposed to do this much much more neatly. There we go. Let's pop that to one side. And then the third prize is one of these envelopes that I made um, 
I will put the link down below. I show these off in more detail, but basically it's an envelope with a window and trapped inside the window is a piece of vintage um, or indeed antique lace. And then on the back is another one of those stitched um, slot uh, dies and again some more ephemera that I've tucked in there um, and a bit of collaging and whatnot on the bottom. So there we have it. These are the three prizes. Um, thank you so much everybody. I really do hope you will participate and send somebody a, uh, a rack, whether it's a journal page or a tag or just some bits and bobs from your stash. Um, it's just lovely to receive something like that and I think that if we can all do something like that and send it to somebody it will make their day and everybody will benefit um, and find some enjoyment out of it and three lucky people that um, are generous enough to do that will have the opportunity to to win well no you'll all have the opportunity to win but three um, lucky people will will have one of these um, three prizes so thank you so much everybody take care have a, a really fabulous weekend and um, I'll see you all again soon bye bye now